Dear beloved, welcome to this sacred moment of prayer. This morning, we gather to seek the divine guidance and blessings necessary for financial increase and abundance in our lives. In this space, let us come together with open hearts and minds, ready to receive the abundance that awaits us. Close your eyes and connect with heaven. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude in our hearts, seeking your divine guidance and favor for financial increase and abundance in our lives. May our prayers be heard and our hearts be aligned with your will. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Let this assurance be the foundation of our faith as we seek financial blessing. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our needs are met according to your riches and glory. Remove any scarcity mindset and fill us with confidence that you are our provider in every circumstance. We stand on the assurance of your word, believing that those who seek you lack no good thing. Align our desires with your will and grant us the desires of our hearts as we trust in you. Thank you that we are worth more than many sparrows. If you provide for the birds of the air, help us to trust that you will provide and meet the needs of us and our family. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you to provide for us as we lift up our prayer for financial breakthrough to your throne of grace. Grant us the faith to trust in your divine plan, even when faced with financial challenges. Help us remember that you are our ultimate provider and in your time all our needs will be met. Give us wisdom in managing our resources. Help us to grow in wisdom as we seek to honor you through our finances. Help us to budget our money well, work hard, and save the resources you have given to us. Please allow our diligence in stewarding what you have given us to bring a powerful financial breakthrough in our lives. May we be good stewards of what you have entrusted to us. Luke 6 verse 30 says, Give and it shall be given to you a good measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. We will be poured into your lap, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Lord, because you have freely given to us, help us freely give back to you and to those around us. Even in the midst of financial difficulty, help us to wisely and generously give to those who are in need. Your word says that a generous person will prosper, and whosoever refreshes those will be refreshed. Instill in us a spirit of generosity, knowing that as we give, we open ourselves to receiving your overflowing blessings. May our hearts be open to sharing our resources with others. Thank you that we can give from the fullness of abundance that you have given to us. Jesus, our Savior and miracle worker, you work in such unexpected and mysterious ways. But who can plumb your depths? or rise to your great heights. Who can search out your ways and behold your glory? We need your help. We ask that you provide income in unexpected ways. Do it, Jesus. Work a miracle in our lives and deliver on this request through Christ our Lord. As we embark on this spiritual journey, I encourage you to write your names and a brief word of prayer in the comment section below. A simple prayer line you can share might be, May divine abundance flow into my life, bringing financial increase and prosperity. Feel free to express your unique hopes and aspirations and let this virtual space resonate with your intentions. Gracious Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the giver of all good and perfect things. Lord Jesus, the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. You own the earth's riches with abundance in silver and gold. Lord, grant us the inheritance as your child. Bless us as you have blessed Abraham. We pray for divine access 
to the Abrahamic blessing you have promised all those who fear and worship you. Lord Jesus, we come today longing for your true abundance and blessings. We know that your unconditional love is poured out to us. You have blessed us in the highest blessings in Christ Jesus by the gift of salvation, eternal life and relationship with you. We have an abundance of your mercy. We have an abundance of your faithfulness. We have an abundance of your goodness. We have an abundance of your grace. You'll always give us what we need. Bring fresh healing and abundance to our lives spiritually, relationally, financially and physically. Dear Lord, we pray you would bless us with your abundance in unexpected ways. Amen. Right now we are about to pray together and make a special space for asking good things for others. If you know someone who is seeking for financial increase and abundance, drop their names in the comments. Let's lift each other up in our collective prayers. Lord, we lift up the members of our community who are facing financial struggles. May your grace and favor be upon them, providing for their needs and granting them the strength to persevere through challenging times. We lift our families before you. Bless our homes with financial increase and abundance, creating a foundation of stability and prosperity for generations to come. Lord, we intercede for those burdened by financial strain and hardship. Bring healing and relief to their lives, providing them with the resources needed to overcome their challenges. We lift up those in our community seeking employment, open doors of opportunity, and guide them to fulfilling and prosperous careers that align with your purpose for their lives. We pray for the success and prosperity of business owners. May their endeavors flourish, bring financial increase, not only for themselves, but for those they employ. Bless their endeavors with creativity, innovation, and financial success that brings glory to your name. We lift up students in our community. Grant them the resources and opportunities needed to pursue education, setting the foundation for a future of financial prosperity. Lord, we intercede for those burdened by the weight of debt. Provide them with the means to overcome financial obstacles and experience the freedom that comes from your provision. Father, we pray for mental and emotional well-being of our community members. May your peace and assurance reign in their heart, alleviating stress and anxieties related to financial matters. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayers. Now, together, we'll make declarations about our financial growth and abundance. We shall speak out loud because words have power. Repeat after me. I decree, I dwell in the midst of infinite abundance. The abundance of God is my infinite source. The river of life never stops flowing. It flows through me into lavish expression. Good comes to me through unexpected avenues. And God works in a myriad of ways to bless me. I now open my mind to receive my good. Nothing is too good to be true. Nothing is too wonderful to have happened. With God as my source, nothing amazes me. I am not burdened by thoughts of past or future. One is gone, the other is yet to come. By the power of my belief, coupled with my purposeful fearless actions and my deep rapport with God, my future is created and my abundance made manifest. I ask and accept that I am lifted in this and every moment into higher truth. My mind is quiet. From this day forward, I give freely and fearlessly into life and life gives back to me with magnificent increase. Blessings come in expected and unexpected ways. God provides for me in wondrous ways. I am indeed grateful and let and I let and I let it be so. I am worthy and deserving and I accept abundance and prosperity into my life now. I believe that there is more than enough in 
God's universe. The channels of abundance are open now and the gifts of love, fulfillment, joy, happiness and prosperity flow easily into my life. An abundance of money and wealth flows consistently into my life. O oh, subconscious mind, I command you to be instrumental in gracefully accepting God's gifts in the form of money, wealth and abundance to make me rich and prosperous. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I once again graciously welcome you into this new day, our day of limitless grace and the Hebrew word revaya stands for overflowing abundance, more than enough, alleviation of trouble, burdensome situation and a great relief. Thus I decree this morning the God of hope and grace will cause your joy, peace and blessings to increase and overflow as we close our eyes and pray. Psalm 23 and verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Jesus, righteous Lord, you are the God of all mercy and it is your desire to richly bless your children. We pray that you anoint our heads with blessings and make your face shine upon us. Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit on us and let us dwell with you in your house all the days of our lives. Bless all of our days on this earth and bless all of our comings and goings. Heavenly Father, we come before you with a daring heart. We acknowledge that your ways are higher than ours and we surrender to your divine plan for our lives. We ask for your favor to be upon us in extraordinary ways. Grant us opportunities that defy logic and surpass human understanding. Open doors that no man can shut and align circumstances to work in our favor. Shower us with your grace and mercy, Lord, and let your blessings overflow in every area of our lives. Psalm 90 and verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father, we ask that you establish the work of our hands and guide us in the right path. Grant us opportunities and open doors that no one can shut. May your favor go before us, paving the way for success and prosperity. Father, in these challenging times, we turn to you for protection and favor. Your word assures us that you are our refuge and strength, a present help in time of trouble. We ask for your divine intervention and favor to surround us like a shield, guiding us from harm and providing us with strength and courage. We ask, Lord, that you shower us with your favor and grace beyond our wildest dreams. May your blessings overflow in every area of our lives, bringing glory to your name. You are the source of all wisdom and understanding. We ask that you grant us clarity of mind and discernment to make wise decisions according to your will. Lord, we submit every area of our lives to you and surrender our plans and ambition into your hands. Lead us in a path of righteousness and let your blessings flow abundantly in our works, relationships, and every aspect of our lives. Before we proceed, take a moment to write your names in the comment section below, along with this line of prayer. Lord, let your blessings overflow in my life. Your act of engagement is a powerful declaration of faith. And as you speak these words of faith, see yourself being covered up with provision. See so much coming into your life that it is beyond measure that you won't be able to keep up with the flood of blessings pouring out over you. Compassionate and gracious God, you say that where sin has increased, grace has increased all the more. 
thank you for more than enough grace to cover our sinfulness. Please continue to pour out your abundant grace in our lives. Make our cups to overflow to the glory of God. We know that life is found in you, God, and we ask for the blessings of being counted as one of your children. Let us taste and see that you are good. Fill us with the grace we need to live in this world and to serve others in your image. We pray that you may continue to bless and guide us on this journey towards success. Heavenly Father, we approach you with a heart full of faith and a boldness to pray for divine favor and life-altering blessings. We recognize that stepping into the realm of the extraordinary requires risk and surrender to your will. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 says, Now to him that is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, we surrender our comfort zone and embrace the dangerous journey of faith knowing that you are the God of miracles and wonders. Let your favor go before us as a mighty force, opening doors that no one can shut and aligning circumstances for our breakthrough. We trust in your divine guidance and provision. Empower us to impact lives, fulfill our purpose, and bring glory to your name. Grant us the audacity to believe in your promises and step into the fullness of the life you have destined for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. We are now entering the sacred space of intercession. If you have friends or family in need of God's blessing, write their names in the comments and let's lift them up in prayer. Lord of unfailing love, we pray you bless our family and friends friends in every way. Pour out the goodness and kindness from your storehouse of grace upon their lives. Anoint their heads with the oil of salvation and make their hearts dance with joy from your presence. And let them feel your Holy Spirit indwell within them and help them to truly and deeply understand that their body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. They work so hard, Lord. So we also pray that you bless them with rest and give them the desires of their hearts. Sovereign Lord, we pray that you bless them as they seek to navigate the difficult times of their lives. Life in today's society with a fast pace and pressure has been hard for them, Lord, and they need you to be with them. Bless them richly, Lord. Give them the wisdom they need. Please prompt them to turn to you and to your word and to Christian leaders for guidance. Thank you for the many ways you have blessed them up until now. Please continue to do so. Amen. Now we are going to make some powerful declarations. If you're ready to step into the blessing flood, open your mouth and say after me. I am living in the overflow. I have a surplus of prosperity. I have more than enough. I am blessed beyond measure. My cup is running over. I am furnished in abundance. I receive multiple streams of income. My storehouses are full and overflowing. I am increasing more and more. It is flawed stage. The floodgates of heaven are open and the blessings is pouring out into my life. There is not room enough to contain it all. I am experiencing the blessing flood. In the name of Jesus, I command multiplication and increase of every good thing into my life right now. I bind off any increase or multiplication of every bad thing. I decree that only the good and righteous things may increase in my life and in everything that concerns me. I am blessed with being a transformation agent right now. Everywhere I go, the people, things, and efforts around me shall succeed just because I am there. 
because I am endued with the glory of God. Let everything I am in charge of prosper. Just as Potiphar's house prospered because Joseph was there. I declare and decree that God's grace is tangible in my life today and from now on. Again, I declare an increase of tangible grace into my life. Let the works of God flow through my hands right now. Let the anointing, ease and flow of the Holy Spirit manifest in everything I do. This is my declaration. Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring our prayers to you and you promised that when two or three agree together in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, Lord, our desires and prayers as may be best for us. Grant us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. As we conclude this sacred time of prayer, Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your engagement only connects you more deeply with this community, but also helps us spread the message of overflowing blessing to others in need. May your day be filled with God's abundant grace, and may you walk in the assurance that His blessings overflow in your life. Amen.